Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? And I am here to discuss a movie, okay? This is a movie that was actually made from um, a romance book. And the name of that movie is The Idea of You. So let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so uh, like I said, this movie was actually uh, optioned from the actual book of the same name uh, and the name of the author uh, is um, Robin Lee okay I did not read the book full disclosure I did not read the book um, and yeah so the, the movie is currently streaming on Amazon Prime and I watched it and I actually liked it it was really really good uh, it stars Anne Hathaway and uh, the the little young man that she has the um, the 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 romance would i i don't i can't you know what i'll I put it at the bottom of the screen but anyway let's get into the talking about this movie okay so they play the characters in the book Celine march 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 hand march march hand okay I, I think it was in it right i don't know um and then we have um hayes campbell who is in a boy band very popular member of this boy band so what ends up happening Celine is kind of like she's divorced she's a divorced single mom and what ends up happening to her how 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 her and Hayes meet is that she was supposed to be going on like this camping trip uh of her own by herself um for the weekend but that ended up being canceled because of ain't shit ex-husband um had like this last minute scene come up and she had to take her daughter and the friends to uh, Coachella, which uh, this boy band um, was going to be performing at. And they were going to do like this meet and greet or whatever. So this is how she ends up meeting uh, Hayes. She, uh, in the movie, she ends up, um, you know, having to go run to the ladies room or whatever. And they kind of like have kind of like this brief, really kind of like quick meet up you know when she goes to mistakenly goes to his trailer to uh use the restroom um but i will say that Anne and this young man had very good chemistry on on screen like it was just oh my god like you really did believe like if you read the book and then watched this movie like i don't know how the chemistry was in the book but let me tell you right now the chemistry in this movie was off the goddamn chain like it was it was fan fucking fantastic like i was like wow like the chemistry was so good between them like it made like this romance and like the tension the initial tension between them it, it, was just, it was just like the chemistry was on point between them like girl and girl <laughs> but anyway so what ends up happening is Hayes is really taking taking just taking what Soline uh when he first uh meets her or whatever and what ends up happening after Coachella they have like this great night at Coachella her the daughter and the friends or whatever and after Coachella um, Hayes uh, actually finds her. Uh, she owns a, kind of like this little small gallery or whatever. He finds uh, the gallery. He goes in there and they have like this another really cute, like, you know, flirt flirtatious type scene where he goes in there and buys up every goddamn thing in the gallery because he's just trying, just trying to like get her to like, hey girl, hey girl, I am interested in you. But um, Celine is... Um, you know she's just very careful because she's just like mm, you know i'm too you know i'm too old for you you know blah 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 but she's very much attracted to Hayes as well he's very like the guy that played him i was like he's he's very good he had i don't know if that's his actual accent he he plays like this uh, uh, aussie like the aussie in the group or whatever australia um and you know he 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 was good like he's very very good like like he's very witty and very charismatic and funny you know and Celine is finding that just like very hard to resist like it's it's great so this romance starts um <laughs> you actually um like they have like kind of like they kind of like first 
little date or whatever where he like i say he goes to the gallery and buys up all the stuff and then he wants to buy all this other stuff and he done bought up everything in the gallery so selena is like hey what are you doing we don't have no more stuff or whatever but then she takes him to this you know a gallery that her friend has it's kind of like in this uh child's about to say shelter situation but that's not it it's kind of like in this uh you know storage thing or whatever and you know then they ended up going back to her house because um he's he's in a boy band he's like i say he's one of the popular members in the boy band or whatever and as they're driving around or whatever you know people starting to notice or whatever so they ended up going back to her house and you know they have lunch or whatever and oh my god but again the chemistry between these two actors is just like <sighs> It's insane on screen. Like it is so insane. Like even like their little funny banter moments. It's it's then kept any other way. So they end up having this kissing scene or whatever. And Selena's just like, no, I can't. I'm too old for you. And I was like, girl, give him the drunk. Just one time. Have some fun or whatever. But you know, he ends up leaving, but he ends up leaving his watch or whatever. I was like, hey. <laughs> He was like, I'm going to see this goddamn woman again. Okay, I'll, I'll leave all my clothes here. <laughs> and she would just call me again, goddamn it. I was like, look at him leaving his watch. But um, so they end up having this kind of like world. They do when she goes to return his watch to him at the hotel. They end up having this very. And, and, girl. Whoo very heated um you know exchange but um you know they end up like her summer her daughter her daughter izzy ends up going to summer camp or whatever they still do those things <laughs> but anyway um her daughter izzy ends up going to summer camp or whatever um and celine ends up kind of like having like this whirlwind uh summer romance with Hayes because after the hotel um and and oh my. anyway so they end up having like this uh whirlwind uh summer romance because after the hotel scene uh Hayes ends up inviting her on tour with them and um it's going good honey it's going good it's going well um until like this moment happens where uh one of his bandmates in some really I will cuss everybody out. I will cuss everybody out. Because I'm I'm of age, honey. Y'all getting cussed out. Mind your goddamn business. But anyway, um, this situation happens and one of his bandmates in the in the in the little skanks that are around them or whatever end up, you know, kind of like shaming um Celine, you know, making her feel bad for like being with Hayes and things like that. So, you know, it's it, it kind of like stops them you know she goes home and you know the daughter ends up finding out she goes to the summer camp this is the this is the part that pissed me off because i because you know the daughter the daughter is just like so uh selena her husband ended up divorcing because he cheated and he wanted a relationship with the woman the younger woman that he cheated on her with so this is why they got divorced because selena was going to forgive him and be like you know let's move past this i was like girl what but I get it. I got it. Okay. But the husband didn't want to. So this is why they are, they are divorced. So when Izzy first found out that, um, that, you know, Celine was kind of like having like this whirlwind romance with this, you know, younger, younger boy, this younger man, sorry, this younger man, um, you know, she was just like, mom, why? And she's like, you saw like, I love that we had a good uh, mother daughter relationship on page. Celine and Izzy had like, uh, awesome relationship just like you know and I like that Celine kept it like yeah we have a we have this great friendship between us but I'm still her mother okay so um like girl don't play with me but you know um Izzy was just like you know you know you love him you want to be with him and stuff like that so she's just like yeah whatever so they Hayes ends up coming back and they have a conversation y'all they have a conversation in Celine's house and Hayes is telling them like, hey, it's going to be tough 
with me and your mom dating. Izzy's just like, it's fine. I'm I, I'm all for it. Like, I just want my mom to be happy. But once the relationship starts, of course, social media is going to social media. And all this shit, all these rumors start flying around. Um, and, okay, so... I was mad at Izzy, but like once the rumors started flying and whatever, and she started getting all this slack at school, people were just actually being like really just like really nasty, mean towards her or whatever, you know, calling her mother all types of names. And, you know, it, it just ended up not being like a good situation. And then the fucking ex-husband, y'all, this M.O., you mean to tell me? Men are going to men all the damn time. You mean to tell me you left this woman. You left this woman for a younger woman. Was, was going to have a whole, got, had a whole new relationship, was engaged, all these things. And then you had nerve to be mad or try to step in. When Celine is trying to shit get her groove back like the fuck you know what I'm saying I was just like I know because the 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 um the other woman ended up telling Celine like hey I'm gonna leave him like yeah because he was given Celine like when he first found out he comes to the house because he was dropping off a birthday present for the daughter for Izzy and he's just like oh don't you think he's like a little bit too young or whatever and I was just like you left her for a whole, not just for another woman. You left her for somebody that's just as young as Hayes. Like, the fuck is going on here? Like, oh, men. But anyway, so, <laughs> so that, that goes on. So they kind of have like this kind of like, which is probably in a book, kind of like a third act breakup, whatever, where just like it gets too much for Celine to handle because basically because of Izzy like I loved how she was just like I love you Hayes but I gotta look out for Izzy like I gotta make sure Izzy is okay like Izzy can't go through this at school you know what I'm saying like it's it's too much for her yeah she says she can handle it deal with it or whatever but it's it's we can't do this no more oh god that scene tore me up he was so <laughs> he was so upset I was just like oh hey don't cry <laughs> no the actor that played Hayes he was really really good he he was just like so convincing I was like man whoo girl that they they probably would have to be reading about me. <laughs> he probably had to be reading about me after the movie like this this relationship you this relationship that started between the actors Oh, from the movie that I did you because let me tell you the chemistry between them was it was wild it was so freaking good I was just like <laughs> girl I take it but anyway they end up having the breakup because uh Celine just can't deal with it or whatever and you know she ends up telling him like you know well Hayes ends up telling her like you know maybe like in five years you know, once Izzy is like grown and about her business or whatever, you know, maybe we can revisit this or whatever. Um, and yeah, they break up. I was just like, ah! but they ended up breaking up. But they do do like the five years later type thing. Izzy has indeed uh, grown up and moved on and whatever. And Celine is just living her life or whatever. But she still follows uh, uh, Hayes's. Uh, his uh, career and see that he is just like flourishing he is you know now like a single artist or whatever doing very well for himself or whatever but um he was on a Grand Norton show I gotta actually watch it because he did have some funny moments but anyway um you know and you know Grant was asking well you're returning to the states you know he's just like yeah it's somebody in California it's always California child California, California New York whatever um <laughs> but you know um, you know, it's somebody I want to see. And we kind of like end the movie where we have kind of like this meetup where he actually returns to, um, her, uh, her gallery and the movie ends there. And, you know, she's just having like this really soft, teary, 
crying out moment or whatever but the movie was good but what makes it so good i'm telling y'all is the chemistry between these two actors it is fucking insane like Like, listen, I, I it probably won't happen, but let me tell you something. If 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 ever it was gonna be an after story of two actors hooking up after being in a movie together, I would totally understand why that would happen between these two actors because it was freaking crazy the chemistry between them. They were so convincing as the couple from this book. I was just like, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is my uh, my thoughts on the idea of you, which is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. Check it out. It's a pretty good movie. I, I liked it. Um, it was really cute. The chemistry between uh, child and girl. I wouldn't blame you at all. That's all I'm going to end this with. And I would not blame you at all, girl. Because that chemistry was, woo, it was something. Anyway, that is it for me. Until the next one. Later days. Bye.